concentration in PPM and PPB. Concentration of a very small quantity of a substance in the environment or the human body can be expressed as parts per million or parts per billion. Okay, so parts per million, 10 to the power of six, parts per billion, 10 to the power of nine. Okay. And so we're gonna use the following equation. For parts per million, mass of the solute in grams divided by the mass of the solution in grams, but we're not multiplying it by 100, we're multiplying it by 10 to the power of six. Okay, so if it was parts per billion, it's still gonna be the mass of the solute divided by mass of the solution, it's going to be times 10 to the power of nine. Sample problem. Okay, sample problem. A fungus that grows on peanuts produces a deadly toxin when ingested in large amounts. This toxin destroys the liver and can cause cancer. Any shipment of peanuts that contains more than 25 parts per billion of this dangerous fungus, um, okay, is, is supposed to say is rejected. Uh, a company receives 20 tons of peanuts to make peanut butter. What is the maximum in grams of fungus that is allowed? So we start off with our equation and we're looking at parts per billion, okay? So P, P, B is equal to mass of solute in grams divided by the mass of solution in grams times, and because it's ten, uh, parts per billion, 10 to the power of nine. So, mass of the solute. We have the mass of solute? No, we don't. We don't have the mass per solute. So it contains more than, okay, so any shipment of peanuts that contains more than 25 parts per billion of this is dangerous. So what is the maximum amount parts per billion? 25 parts per billion. All right, so 25 parts per billion. Mass of the solute, that's what we need to find. So what is the solute? What does it represent? The? fungus, right, the, fu the fungus. The solution is pretty much the peanuts, right? So now, 20 tons, one ton, okay, is equal to 1,000 kilograms. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So, um, the uh, volume of that is, so 20 tons is equal to, I kind of already did this, 2 times 10 to the power of 7 grams, okay? So we have 2 times 10 to the power of 7 grams, and we're multiplying it by... 10 to the power of 9. We want to isolate for x. Okay. So what we're going to do is, see this times 10 to the power of 9? What function are we doing to it now? We're dividing it when we bring it over to this side of the equal sign. So we have 25 parts per million divided by 10 to the power of 9 Okay, is equal to X grams. What am I going to do with 2 times 10 to the power of 7? I'm going to bring it over, so I'm going to multiply it with my numerator. So it becomes 2 times 10 to the power of 7. Okay? And so on this kind of represents the parts. Oops. Parts per billion. Okay, so we multiply those together. What do we get? 0 0.5 what? Grams. Okay, 0 0.5 grams. 
So when they're weighing out how much of the fungus is available, right? That's how little amount is accepted to reach that 25 parts per billion. In all that peanuts, 20 tons worth of peanuts, the fungus cannot be more than 0.5 grams. 